everyone, thanks for joining us for another video for Ape Awareness Month here at Colchester Zoo. My name's Gemma, I'm one of the keepers here at the zoo and I'm actually part of our carnivore team, but we do also look after the pileated gibbons. So our pileated gibbons are classified as apes. They are actually classified as lesser apes because they are smaller than the great apes. But the best way of telling apart your apes from your monkeys is whether or not they've got a tail. So monkeys will generally have a tail, although there are a couple of species which are exceptions to that rule, but generally your apes will not have a tail. Um, out in the wild, pileated gibbons come from Cambodia, Thailand and Laos, and they're actually classified as endangered. So this does mean that they do face lots of different threats out in the wild. One of these is from hunting for the bushmeat trade, but one of the biggest threats they face is from habitat loss. So I'm going to be introducing you to our two gibbons here at Colchester Zoo. So we have a male, his name is Lee, and he's 15 years old. And we also have a female, her name is Malai, and she's also 15. But pileated gibbons are very easy to tell apart as they show something called sexual dimorphism. So this means that males and females look very different. So male pileated gibbons, like Lei here on the right hand side, always have black fur, whereas females are much lighter in colour. So they can be anything from light brown to blonde to grey fur, just like Malai here down on the floor. So what we have given our gibbons today is a selection of enrichment. We do try and make their food as complex as possible as they are intelligent primates. So what they've got today is a spinner at the front of the enclosure here, which has got some raisins in, which are a little bit of a treat for our gibbons today. And they've also got some pellets and they've got some veg in the enclosure there as well. Pileated gibbons do have very loud vocalisations. Um, so if you've been here at the zoo, then you may have heard these calls and they're actually known as singing. So pileated gibbons will sing in pairs or in their family groups and the female's call is the loudest but they'll do this as a way of defending their territories and their food sources from other gibbons out in the wild. And if you have seen our gibbons here at the zoo, then chances are you will have seen them swinging around in their enclosure. But they are extremely agile animals, so they can actually swing through the trees of, at speeds of up to 35 miles an hour. And they can also leap around nine meters and this is their primary way of moving around both in the wild and here at the zoo. But they can also walk or run upright on their legs as well. And if you have seen that, then it can look quite comical as they actually hold those long arms up high over their heads. Um, but it actually means that they've got lots of balance when they do this. So I hope you have enjoyed learning a little bit more about Lei and Malai and about pileated gibbons. And then next time you come to the zoo, make sure you do come and see if you can spot them. They do like to be up high in their enclosure. Out in the wild, they would always be up in the treetops. So make sure you do look up high to try and spot our gibbons when you next come to the zoo.